Our Youth Beat team is comprised of three components. The first is our Youth at Risk strategy, the second is our Youth Beat outreach team and the third is our Youth Beat case management team. The Youth at Risk strategy has been running since 2003 and it's a partnership we have with WA Police, Department of Child Protection and Family Services and also us ourselves, Mission Australia. The outreach team works seven days a week. There are two different objectives for the outreach team. The first is their work under the Youth at Risk strategy where they work on Thursday, Friday and Saturday nights. Um, their main aim on those night shifts is to make sure that young people at risk are safe and off the streets. The second objective of our outreach team is to build positive relationships with young people, to provide practical assistance and make appropriate referrals into services. Some of the risks that our outreach team and the young people we work with face on a daily basis include aggressive behaviours, high levels of substance use, gang violence and use of weapons. So we would see lots of knives and machetes and fights that the young people get involved in. When we ask them what they see as risks. Um, knives, bats, crowbars. There's some groups that are good and some groups that are bad. If you're messing with the bad group, they're going to mob you on the spot. There was fights, like there's so many fights on the streets and it really, it really sucks because it's like you don't know if you're going to get knocked out or locked up or anything, like it's really hard. People like tend to follow you uh, throughout the streets. Males are more common, they like really scary. There's a trend um, outreach you're seeing in the city at the moment with the use of synthetic cannabis. Um, this is a very accessible drug at the moment in the city. Young people are able to afford this, number one. And number two, think it's, it's not a risk to their health. Um, over the last couple of weeks, we've noticed a big decline with some of the clients that we see in their mental health, um, which they're not able to to obviously see this themselves, but it's quite scary. It's a lot It's a lot worse than marijuana altogether. It f***s with you completely in the head. Speed and yeah, marijuana. Crystal meth, it's a big thing. Um, I see a lot of young people just loop out and it's pretty scary, but sometimes it's just how life is. You just see everybody do it. You think it's normal. So we've recently gotten kicked out of our squat, which had beds and some stuff in it. But now we're currently sleeping in a car park. Yeah, it's horrible. I hate living on the streets, man. Having to sleep on the cold floor, sometimes having cockroaches crawling up your leg, you know, ants, stuff like that. Having food, fits laying around sometimes, man. It can be filthy in some places. Some places are all right. Our outreach team can come up against many different challenges when they're out on the street trying to engage with various groups of young people. Um, one of those challenges can be young people not trusting us because of our relationship with the police when we're working under the Youth at Risk strategy. Um, our main objective there is to make sure that young people under the age of 17 are safe and off the streets at night on Thursday, Friday and Saturdays. Some of the young people we work with might not necessarily be homeless but they're out in the streets um, hanging out with friends, meeting up with family. We're just hanging in the train stations and socialising with everyone. With all our young With all people. our friends and family. I've seen my young sister out here. I go off it all the time because she's like a little kid still, you know, like, and I try to send her home but she doesn't listen, so I wouldn't want them going out with their mates because I don't know what they're going to do, okay? So I say, come with me, so I know what you're doing. Under section 41, um, we need to engage the police if we see a young person that's out past the curfew, um, which is 10pm. So this can be difficult sometimes for our safety. Um, because young people see us as snitches, that we're working with the police, we're undercover police. So as outreach workers, we really need to work hard on building those relationships and trust with young people. Our Youth Beat case management team works with young people 19 years and younger. Um, a lot of the time our referrals come from the Youth at Risk strategy, as well as internal referrals from our outreach team. Um, mostly our case managers are dealing with young people um, and supporting them through issues um, such as family um, dispute, and conflict as well as drug and alcohol issues. They've helped me a lot, they've brought me blankets, food, water, they've helped me um, get accommodation at one stage, a jewel house, so they've helped me out quite a bit. Take you to appointments, set your appointments up, do everything you need really, doctors, sport, the whole work. Youth Beat have a premises on Palmerston Street that has a kitchen, shower facilities, um, a pool table, TV, um, counselling rooms. Youth Beat is quite flexible with our engagement strategies with young people. We use camps, art, music, dance workshops as well as cooking and various other types of group activities. We find this works really well. During the week we run a breakfast club on Monday and Wednesdays. We also provide workshops around sexual health, hygiene, 
uh, alcohol and drugs, harm minimisation. The aim of the program is to try and get young people to improve their life chances, whether that be through employment, education, uh, training, recreation, what it, whatever medium it is, uh, we just want them to improve their life skills and you know have a better future, a better outlook for their future. It gives us a place to come, like just to chill out, have fun. They support you a lot of love, actually. No, you trust them. Doing it for a good reason. Treat us like family, actually. So we've seen the types of places where these young people are coming from. The squats, um, being on the street, sleeping in car parks. Um, really, we would just want to provide um, as many opportunities as we can to engage with our clients and make sure that they have a happy and fulfilling life.